Season 7 hangs in the balance for Splice. They have to get to Game 5, and to be honest, they really have to win if they want to have any chance of making it to the playoffs. So, a lot on the line here for them, and Evil Geniuses will be looking to play spoiler. And it's a particularly interesting matchup as well, because last week I was like, yo, Evil Geniuses, you're playing too far up in the midfield, you're allowing people to get over your head too easy. And it's this very interesting dynamic, where if Evil Geniuses take that same uh, idea and they continue to play too aggressive versus Splice, it could end up meaning more pressure for Evil Geniuses if they're not able to execute on those long clears like we've seen them have some issues with. However, if they do, Splice could have a pretty interesting uh, few opportunities. It's the League 7 and the League 8 worst defenses. So who comes out on top? See what they're able to do here as we get game one underway. We've got Splice in the orange, Evil Geniuses in the blue, and a best of five to determine Splice's future. Jay Wismont gets the ball down the field before it being demolished. It'll be Classics who picks it up in his own corner. He advances forward with Drippe. Loses the challenge to Nose Dude. Now pass Corrupted G. Karma comes in to take, pick up the slack, puts it into the middle. Here comes Jay Wismont looking for the shot, but it's off to the side. It'll be Corrupted G to follow it back to midfield. Dude with the nose now. Back on the offense for Splice. Two players in the orange for Evil Geniuses, which creates some openings for Jay Wismont and Nose Dude to work. Pass Classics now. It's a push into the corner. Corrupted G and Drippe will move back into net and they'll get it away down the field. It'll be all to Jay Wismont here in the back, who gets it to his own corner. And Classics with a great read as well, able to steal away that corner boost. Might mean an extended stay for Evil Geniuses if they win the next few challenges. Classics on the wall trying to get that one up and set it up to a teammate who both were back in their own half. I mean, no forward pressure. Now all gathered up at midfield. Here comes Classics with the shot. It'll be Karma off to the side. And Dude with the nose trying, but Drippe gets there first. Jay Wismont dumps it back behind the offender. And now Karma back down the field. Pass corrupted G. Classics puts it in the midfield, but Jay Wismont moves up looking for the shot. Classics tries to get it away, but Karma in. And that'll be Splice first on the board. And this is just a straight counterattack from Splice coming out of their own end. Classics doesn't get a handle of the touch from Karma over to him. It just gives it right back out to the middle. And Jay Wiz, a strong touch towards the back wall. Could be crossed bar down, baits out the defender, and Karma's there to follow up. 3.32 left to go. Splice first to score in our games. Scrumpet G moves up. Drippe now. Evil Genius is starting on offense. Karma gets it past him in the corner, but Dude with the nose, a little bit of a miss in the midfield. Karma's able to capitalize on the given space, but gets caught in the enemy net as Jay Wismont tries to wrap it around, and she'll play some chaos as she rotates back onto defense. Drippe now, extension. Classics over the top of one. Jay Wismont falling back here onto his own backboard. B1. Get it a long ways down the field. Drippe and Corrupted G working together to beat the front line. Here comes Classics in, jumping it back to Drippe, but blocked by Karma. And back out. Dude with the nose into the midfield, looking for Jay Wismont. Back to over to Karma. Can she find the shot? Gets it towards the goal, but it's onto the backboard. Classics will push it back up midfield, looking for Drippe. And Splice basically found themselves in pretty much the exact same scenario that they scored their first goal on as Drippe lifts one towards the net out of the corner. It was again a counterattack against Evil Geniuses. And unfortunately, they just didn't put the passes in the perfect spot for their teammates to handle it. And it slowed down that push just enough for EG to make it back in time. I like that they're going for the passing plays. They just have to make sure they put them directly under each other's hoods, arguably the most difficult of the fundamental mechanics in Rocket League. As Jay Wismont now looking for Karma, broken up by Corrupted G, and now back to Drippe. The shot on target's a bit high, and broken up by Dude with the nose. Wow, Classic oh. so aggressive. Surprising to see him so fast. And Jay Wismont got in the way, but Classics will still capitalize, finds the final bounce, and puts it into the corner. And actually goes back to him winning that challenge right there that he was up so quick for out of the midfield line. It throws everyone on Splice for a loop as they all have to wheel around as they were all headed to the corner. And they just couldn't get the follow-up touches that he was able to recover on and find the back of the net. 2.04 left to go. Game number one. Trippe follows kickoff control, and Classics will be able to capitalize <laughs> on it. Gets it all the way down off of a defender and in. That's EG back with the lead. Well, you said, uh, you know, you wanted to see that Classics kickoff yep. come back. He sets one right on Trippe's nose. And then they get it up the other way, and Drippe is the, the lucky beneficiary of Classic's free goal. <laughs> Put it on in. Evil Geniuses takes the lead. Now following kickoff, Corrupted G will put it into a splice corner. Karma slow to pick this one up. Gets crowded by Evil Geniuses' offense. 
The ball stays in the orange. Here comes Drippe up against Jay Wismont. The ball goes over to the side. Jay Wismont will leave it for Karma. She puts it a long ways down the field, and Corrupted G will look to play it to Drippe. And Corrupted G, good understanding there. That's what I was a little bit worried about EG last week. He took that midfield boost, immediately cycled back into his net because he wasn't sure if his team was going to win the ball, but Karma gets a ball put right on her nose off a weak clear from Drippe, a double commit yeah. from Evil Geniuses. The double commit puts Corrupted G, Drippe, and Classics all right in front of the box. As soon as that shot was through that front line, there was nobody in the back to clean it out, despite how slow it was. And Splice ties up the game here in number one. It's been a back and forth affair. Drippe looks to continue this one following the kickoff. It's been Aggressive kickoff play for Evil Geniuses. Dude with the nose trying to set this one high, but there's no one over on that side of the field for him to work with. Oh, and those dude went for a boost deal as well. Unfortunately, it wasn't there, and he kind of took himself out of the play. What a drip, A. Back to classics. Finds over the top of two. Up onto the backboard. Here comes Krepta G looking for the shot. Jay Wismont and Ned will get it away. Krepta G wasn't able to find the contact he wanted. It was so good from Evil Geniuses, too. They put the ball high off the back wall. They took it away from the defenders. Oh. It was advantage of position all day for Evil Geniuses, and it came down to the touch from Corrupted G, and he just wasn't able to get it anywhere away from the defender. Classics back in. Corrupted G looking for it, but Karma breaks it up. Out to Jay Wismont, continues into the corner. Classics has to move back into the net quickly. It's the front line of defense, and everyone else back at midfield for Evil Geniuses. It gets it away. Now Dude with the Nose looking for Jay Wisman on the far side of the field. Tries to find the shot, but Drippe gets in the way. Corrupt G towards the backboard. Karma to the side. 23 seconds remaining, still tied up in game number Tough one. Tough read. Drippe tries to find the shot, but it's sent away by Dude with the Nose. Now into the corner. It'll be Corrupt G past him. Jay Wismont out into midfield and continued by Karma. Broken up by Drippe on the ceiling. Karma will pick this one up towards the backboard. Eight seconds remaining. Classics follows it into the side. Karma comes off the wall, pinches with Krupa G out to Classics' hood towards the goal, but Dude with the Nose will put it into the corner and send us to overtime here in the first game. And what do I expect out of overtime? I really don't know. Both teams have really shored up a couple of odd defensive mishaps that allowed the first couple of goals. Nice fake from Nose Dude, but just too far away on the follow-up was Jay Wiz. But they've dropped the ball in the midfield and Splice get a second chance. Karma in, creating havoc. Jay Wismont falls back, picks up his own corner boost as Corrupted G now moves down. Jay Wismont with the pass across to Karma and now back up to Jay Wismont. Getting it past Classics and towards the backboard. Drippe will put it into his own corner, but Karma, a little bit bullied by Classics, unable to pick up the ball. Corrupted G over the top of one to Classics. To Drippe. Jay Wismont in on the play. Doesn't make contact well. Karma sends it down. Corrupted G and Classics in the corner. Small double commit. Dude with the nose baited onto the wall. Now Jay Wismont beat as well. It's all Karma. She finds contact. It was a damage control touch for Karma as well. Her teammate was rotating out. Her other teammate just lost a challenge in the midfield. And all she could do was put a put that ball into a hole on the on the pitch somewhere so that her teammates would have time to recover. And it's allowed them to maybe get set on the midfield and take this ball back onto the EG half. First minute of overtime coming on. Drippe out of his own corner. Karma pressuring. Creates neutral contact. And now back into the midfield. Krupa G picking it up, sending the shot wide. Jay Wismont coming out of his goal, doesn't find much. This one's towards the back Whoa. and over the top of Karma. Corrupted G finds a great angle. With 120 into the game, they'll take the win. And Corrupted G uncontested, coming out of his own half. Uh -oh. Just blast one towards the back wall. And it was, I believe, Jay Wiz in the net. He was just looking up at it because it came at him real fast. And he said, I do not have time to jump up and save this. Going to have to make a read off the back wall. Didn't get there. And Corrupted G delivers a banger to close it out. What a goal. Corrupted G definitely showing up in this one as he put up five shots. Every member of Evil Genius is finding a goal here, two of which were able to find the assists on as well. Splice did some good work. Karma putting the shots into the back of the net, but not able to pull it out in overtime, and it wasn't for lack of options, and it wasn't for lack of opportunity. Yeah, they had a couple. Of, the first goal was, of course, that counterattack that was really nice and got things going back the other way, and the second one, the double commit from Evil Geniuses. But other than that, Evil Geniuses, I felt, played a fairly well-collected game on the defensive half. They were rotating. They were able to cut down many of the pass opportunities. After they got out of the early part of the game, they stopped allowing some of those more dangerous counterattacks, and it was just all on splice to be able to execute that touch. You remember, uh, Jay 
Jay Wiz had that opportunity that it was off the back wall. Everybody from EG was just waiting, saying, mm. I, I hope you don't shoot it in a hole in the net because yeah. we can't save it. And they just shot it right to the defender. And yeah. It all came down to execution for Splice. Corrupted G nailed his shot in overtime. Splice didn't nail theirs in regulation. Well, so moving to game two, Splice, they were one goal away in game number one from putting that one away. And I, one thing I want to watch for them to do is to find each other a little bit more on their passes. We, we saw at the beginning of the Evil first Geniuses goal. or Splice? Splice. Okay. Well, I want to see that they're, they're, they're pass game. It seems like Evil Geniuses right now, even when they're on defense and struggling, they're doing a good job making sure the ball is going towards a player on their team so they can maintain the ball control where Splice a number of times either the pass, the, the idea was there but they were not able to actually get the pass off or the ball was just being dumped to an empty corner. Well yeah, it's like they would get the first couple of passes I feel like. They had a teammate. They're like, alright, here's one pass and then either option two wouldn't be in time or it would just be a little bit too close to the defense and evil geniuses would sniff it out. Splice moving up on the offense. And the counter from Evil Genius is now passing the midfield. Here comes Karma. It'll be Corrupted G to send it away. Drippe looks to continue the play, but broken up in the midfield. And demolished for his efforts. Do with the nose now. Trying to pass up towards Jay Wismont. Doesn't find him. Karma now. Out of her corner. Cross midfield to Drippe. Drippe sends it a long ways. Classics looks for it, but broken up with Do with the nose. Now, dude. Chasing this one down, Karma playing fullback in front, gets one demolition and now a fake from Dude with the nose. Drippe on the respawn, I believe, just picks that straight up and sends it back down the field. That was the most unfortunate thing for Nose Dude as well. Like you said, Karma, two huge demos, giving him a lot of options. Nose Dude had 10 boosts that whole time. He couldn't do anything with all those options. Unfortunate. It's corrupted G. Out of the corner. Karma. Towards the backboard, following it along, couldn't find the shot. It was off the post. Now do with the nose. Into the corner, looking for a second touch. The ball out distanced him. Jay Wismon now into the corner. Off the wall, Corrupted G's there. Do with the nose now on the back pass. Looking for the shot down. Drippe sends his high. Corrupted G follows it. Karma and Jay Wismon have to fall back into their half. Karma now up out of goal, doesn't really find much contact, but he'll find it on the fall. Really enjoying Drippe's challenge game out of the midfield. It happened a couple of times in game number one, and as well as here in game number two, giving a fair amount of extra opportunities for EG. None of them really bearing too much fruit, but the having the option that maybe something comes out of it is valuable in and of itself. Do with the nose again, trying to extend this one into the corner. Now finding the demolition of the drip A. Karma's shot is a bit wide, and the two demolitions from Do with the nose. Classics there. Jay Wismont will look for to play it back to Do with the nose on what was maybe another scoring opportunity. Absolutely was. Oh no, and he got beat. Karma not ready for that touch off of the back of Dude with the nose's car. Will just kill that push for Splice. It's classics. The back Karma up to Jay Wismont. Strippe sends it across the field to his teammate. Now back into the middle for Corrupted G. Do with the nose will challenge, and Karma will need to pick this one up. Sends it off of Corrupted G's hood. Into the corner. Now looking for goalies. Looks for Drippe. Doesn't find him. Jay Wismont wasn't able to get it into the front of the box for Dude with the nose to score. Now back towards the goal. Jay Wismont up. He's able to get this one away. 1.45 left to go. Evil Geniuses, they found a win in game number one, and they've got the lead here in game number two. Pressuring once more, but Jay Wismont threw one. Now over to the side, looking to follow it along, but pressure's just not quite there. Krepa G all the time in the world to pick up control on this one. Man. Classics almost made a monster play back on the offensive side of things. He had to dodge a couple demos, almost got a demo of his own, or a bump, to open the door, and Splice handling it well, but it's a deadlock in game number two. Nobody able to really generate a great scoring opportunity. Both teams have been close a couple of times. Oh. That one is gently put towards the top left corner and an easy stop for Corrupted G. Classics now around. Karma. And this one towards the back, Drippe. Sends it high. Do with the nose out towards Karma. Classics breaks it up. Now alone in the orange. Jay Wismont will beat him. Corrupted G not able to beat Dude with the nose. Splice now looking to attack down and find the tie. Drip A gets in the way, sends it to the side. Corrupted G will keep it over to the side while Classics moves in the net. Now Karma with the shot. It'll be Classics back out to Drip A. So advances down the field. Dude with the nose expecting contact from Drip A. A little bit of time burnt off the clock. 30 seconds remaining. 
It's Classics, Corrupted G, try to cycle this one away from their goal. Another shot from Karma and in. There's the lead for Splice as they were able to find a goal here in game number two. And Classics just couldn't find a strong clear coming off that sidewall. Drippe was rotating into the net. He didn't have a lot of time to get set because he was just challenging that ball in the midfield against Dude with the Nose. And if Corrupted G wasn't going to be able to sniff that ball out, it was going to be dangerous. And Karma picked a spot. 20 seconds remaining. Evil Geniuses needing to find a goal to send us to overtime. They won overtime in game number one. Probably feeling confident to be able to do it again, but they've got to get there. Karma, hold on to the ball. Drippe tries to bump it off, and that's past two. Classics moves in, but Karma bumps him as he moved in to take the shot. Evil Geniuses trying to get the ball out of their half with one second remaining. They've got to keep it up and in the air. It's over to the side. Classics looks, and he'll be able to pop it a bit, but a little bit low on boost. Corrupted G now. Oh, it's dangerous. Backboard. Here comes Drippe to put it in, and they get the buzzer beater out of nowhere. Evil Geniuses, the full court carry, and we're going to overtime. A splice fall asleep at the critical moment. Dude with the nose couldn't pick it up out of the midfield. Karma tries to cover up, can't get the challenge, and Drippe sneaks one into the lower right-hand side. EG not done yet. On Classics on the kickoff. It's a pass two. Towards the goal it goes. Karma was off to the side, but the shot was wide. Dude with the nose demolished and nearly caught again on the respawn. Jay Wismont will extend this one out of their own half, but Classics beats him. Oh. Now back in, up against Dude with the nose and Karma. He gets a pass one, gets the demolition on the other, but Dude with the nose on the breakaway all the way down the field. It's a bit high, and it'll keep going away. Monster bumps from Classics coming out, pushing all of Splice off the ball. Now here comes Drippe looking for another shot. Corrupt G Min keeps it in the corner. Classics is all the way back in his own half. Won't be immediate pressure, but here's Drippe. Ball a bit wide. Classics moves to the far side, looking to continue it. Pass Dude with the nose. Dude's able to hold on to it, get it back. Oh my goodness, in another. Field. Karma demolished in the back. This moves up here's Classics and Drippe. The pass across the Corrupted G nearly found it back to Classics. Doesn't piece together just yet. Two players, though, there on the transitional play from Splice. Classics puts this one high as two teammates are both backwards as they rotate back for boost. But Classics on defense, on overtime, saying, let's just get up and play Bulldozer. Welcome, welcome to the Bruise Fest. And you can feel the tension from Splice as well. They were ready to walk into game number three, tied up one to one. And just being able to handle all that pressure, the bumps from Corrupted G, the passing from Drip A, or the bumps from Classics, excuse me, the passing from Drip A and Corrupted G to each other, so dangerous. And credit to Splice, they've survived a difficult overtime so far. They've been very confident on their 1v1 challenges, and they're getting at least neutral contact almost every time, and it's bailed them out of a lot of very sticky situations. So Corrupted G carries this one up in his own corner. Start Classics underneath to work with. And they carry this one all the way. Jay Wismont's got a soft touch there, and Drippe is happy to pick it up. Classics creating more chaos. Drippe now with a shot. Karma sends it away. Here, Corrupted G will follow it. Back in the midfield for Classics again. This one on target again. Dude with the nose to the side. Corrupted G's there. And Drippe now in the midfield. It's dude with the nose again having to play defense. Right now, Evil Genius is covering all sides of the pitch, constantly finding every clear, but Karma will finally be one, get it away, but it's right back into Corrupted G's hands, up to Drippe, onto the backboard. Classics is far away. A little bit of a breather there for just a moment. Oh, finally. And a miss again. That could be just what Splice needed. Finally a missed touch from Evil Geniuses will allow them time to grab boost, get in position, and maybe get things going. But Drippe will take that away as well. Oh. One, two, touch, Corrupted G. Oh, over to the side. Will turn it in. And in it goes. Evil Geniuses, two overtimes in a row. And just one whiff, Drippe and Corrupted G able to work it back down the field and in. It took a little bit of rolling, but it does go through. Evil Geniuses now one away from a sweep on Splice. And the ending of their season, Splice has to reverse sweep right now to stay alive. Disaster struck for Splice at zero seconds. Not able to pick the ball up out of the midfield, and Drippe Puts in a monster of a goal. Just that touch from Classics to get over one. Karma again was trying to cover up, and Jay Wiz, you had no chance at that one because Drippe put it in the right spot at the right time. It feels like you see Dude with the Nose just kind of watching there on the front line. And it, 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 it's that it's that easy. The moment you think at zero seconds, surely they can't get this down the field, is the moment you lose and you cannot think that way. And they played so valiantly in overtime. Car, like It was defense all this, day. It, it is beautiful to see the stuff that they talk about on the desk actually like 
be very relevant, you know. <laughs> Classics decided to show up and be the player we have known him to be over the past few seasons in that game. It was, it's so much fun to watch from the overhead, too, and just watch him just straight up just hunting players yep. and be like, can you please stop? Please get out of my head. And Karma and company doing a great job staying alive, but they had to score on that one mistake that was made. Yes. They had the one breakaway. They made a mistake of their own, and they get punished. Yeah, Drippe with a huge challenge to get that ball going back mm. the other way and just splice. Disaster. Worst time to have that happen to you. And now, like you said, you can't lose 3-0. You can't lose 3-1. It's all or nothing right You now. have to get this to game five, and you really do need the win as well. Splice needs all of your energy right now if they're going to be able to make it through. Solid kickoff. Doesn't do the nose falls into the corner, but opts for boost instead of ball. Puts it back over the side and Krepa G. Picking this up. Oh, just feels like Splicer mad. Look how fast they're trying to be to the ball. They're like, we're not going to let you get away with anything. We're going to be first to everything. And again, that was a huge part of how they were able to stay so relevant in that overtime when Karma was getting in their way, they, or when Classics was getting in their way. The players who weren't demolished were having oh, to play. Oh, this is no. it. Trippe shot is in. He gets it off the midfield pinch here. Cardinal just, Sin. Just, just beats Jay Wisman to the ball off the ceiling and back down. No pinch involved. That's the first goal, the go-ahead goal for EG. Cardinal Sin, first place. Banger off your own side wall. Teammate not in position to pick it up first. And Drip 8 just walked it into the net. 427, Evil Geniuses. Just play solid defense and they've got the win. Do with the nose looking for Jay Wismont. Drip 8 blocks it. Now Classics and Drip 8, close positioning here. So they can crowd on a challenge. Corrupted G up, Jay Wismont sending it long ways down. Now Trippe off the wall, pass due with the nose. They wrote it here to Classics, he sends it high. Jay Wismont doesn't find contact, but Krepa G a little bit far back. Get a pass, Karma onto the wall. Now Classics lurking in front of the goal. Jay Wismont extends it away. Trippe comes on in. Karma to the side, it'll be Jay Wismont to pick it up this time. And Classics up to challenge, he'll send it long ways due with the nose with a nice adjustment. Be able to keep this one moving slowly and methodically into the blue. Splice slowly working through this one as Karma tried to find the aerial shot sent away by the defense. There's no help from Splice right now. They've got the ball on the evil genius's half, but they don't have anybody supporting whoever's challenging the ball or about to pass the ball. They're just having to play a 1v3 on offense, kind of. This might be their first chance, but that pass from Jay Wiz, not towards Karma, not towards Space, right to evil geniuses. They're trying to get out of the corner. Corrupted G will beat two, and Jay Wismont is left alone to challenge here. He can't find any contact, but the pass was higher than Classics liked. The defense will get it away. Drippe now on the follow-up. It'll be Karma to move it out. As Krepta G sends another shot. Do with the nose. Makes a save off the post. The most difficult surface in the game to control your car on, and he makes it work. Oh, and Drippe just ooh, muscling Dude with the nose off the ball and allowing Evil Geniuses to apply some more pressure on the midfield. But a nice demo from Karma on Drippe will allow things to go back and everybody will be battling for possession. Karma sends this one high. Corrupted G, back to Karma. Jay Wismont in the midfield. And Classic's a missing goal. Jay Wismont moved in and then went for the demolition once he decided he didn't have a shot opportunity. Jay Wismont and Karma, a bit of a double commit. Corrupted G Punish. over to Classic's. A nice pass that Dude with the nose gets in the way. The goal line saves. Really helping Splice stay in this game right now. Dude with the nose doing a lot. Doing a lot, but is it enough? Grup to G, an open net. He can't make it back to that one. And Evil Genius is a two-goal lead and 2-0-1 on the clock. Evil Geniuses keep finding ways in on a mistakes from Splice. The goal left open. The clear wasn't good, and the rotations hadn't come in yet. 2-0-1 left to go, 2-0 to zero for Evil Geniuses as they look for the sweep on Splice. Classics and company lighting up. Corrupted G up, hit over the top of one. Karma not able to find it. Here comes Drippe looking for more. Just back down. Classics will send it into the corner. Now Corrupted G passed another. Jay Wismont trying, but Corrupted G winning the challenges. Here comes Classics. Karma sends this one away. Drippe sending it high. Classics there to work with as well. Drippe is trying to pick up his own touch off the ceiling. 
right now. The challenge game, so cleanly in Evil Genius's favor, which was the one thing we were talking about Splice being able to kind of rely on the last seven minutes of gameplay. They have to find a way to get these challenges going back to their side as Drippe with so much space in the midfield. Pass one, trying to follow it through the air. Karma gets it away from him, but is it all too little too late? Classics into the midfield, Jay Wismont down. Corrupted G tries to break it up as Jay Wismont and company here crowding up into the box. Here comes Dude with the nose, looking for the shot, finds it on target, but Corrupted G is able to hit his brakes and clear it away. And Final was, minute of game three. And that was the first time Splice really had a lot of help as Drippe will not be able to turn one in. Classics won't either. And they actually might have caught Evil Geniuses off guard. Corrupted well, G tried to hey. force it. He didn't want to let them have a free two-on-one. Tried to go for a challenge, and Karma made him look silly. Karma, what a play. Past one, puts in the goal. The first of the two they need. 42 seconds left, definitely doable for Splice. We saw a buzzer beater in game two. Can we have another one in game three? Splice need this one to keep their season hopes and dreams of playoffs alive. Jay Wismont to the side, Krupa G puts it high. Classics now, extending it with 30 seconds remaining. Karma gets a pass one, Jay Wismont does chooses not to go up the wall. Stays down, beats Corrupted G. Karma now trying to pick this up, puts it very high and neutral. Drippe look to keep it back down. Here comes Dude with the nose into the corner. Corrupted G set up a net. It's classics is able to get it away on the backboard and then pinch it off the ground into the corner with 10 seconds remaining. Splice, they have to find ball control. Jay Wismont gets a pass to Drippe. Backwards is Corrupted G, sends it soft onto the wall. Dude with the nose up, the challenge is a little bit rough, but Karma is able to find Dude, sends it back up to Karma, but Drippe breaks it all up and sends it all the way down. Oh. It's staying okay. alive on the edge there for a while, but it's not going to work. Evil geniuses, the sweep of Splice and crushing their playoff hopes.